Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, you the people have spoken, we heard you. All the social media posts about the cool demos and all the educational tools and the hows and whys, well, we're introducing a brand new segment called Garage Ed. And I'm not Ed, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna look at some components that are really cool and we're gonna take it through electrical, this whole thing. Think about it, cars are all electronic today. They're even driven electronically. You shift your transmission right here. What are you doing? Well, you're sending a signal to a valve body with some shift solenoids. You hit your gas pedal, you got no control over the throttle. Electronic signal once again to an actual throttle body, opening and closing the throttle. Your wheels are spinning. They're looking at the actual wheel speed. Your brakes are braked electronically today. And let's not forget about the engine. Everything's controlled electronically. So this season, we're gonna take you through electrical. We're gonna take you through amps, volts. We're gonna take you through relays, wires, starters, batteries, alternators, everything you wanna know about electrical. Where do we start? Well, voltage. Let's start with voltage. That's the basics. Voltage is pressure, electromotive force. It's a potential difference between the positive and the negative terminals. And I could demonstrate it with water. If I fill up this vat with water, what we're doing is the water's actually making pressure. The more water, the more pressure. Now in your car, you have an alternator right there. That's a mechanical pressure maker. That's gonna make the pressure when the car's running, we're gonna use that. And you also have a battery, which is an electrochemical pressure maker. Now you see the pressure here, it starts to build up the more we have. Now you're gonna have to join us next week because I'm gonna pull this plug. We're gonna talk about current and we're gonna talk about some resistance. Now voltage, take a look at this graphic. We can measure voltage a couple of ways. The first one we can do is voltage at the point. Now if I take my meter and I put it over here at volts, this is DC voltage. I have a cool board set up right here and I have a light bulb burning. So if I go right here to this point, and then I come over here and I just touch ground, you can see at that point, I actually have 12.51. That's going to the light bulb. Now on the other graphic, this is actually voltage drop. If I go across the light bulb right here and I measure that from the positive to the negative side, it's dropping 12.51 because it has to use all electricity. This light bulb's an actual load in the circuit. Now this DVOM's cool. I got one right here from Rock Auto, or you can use a test light. I don't like to use that on computer circuits, but I also got this at rockauto.com. Just stick it in there right there. Shows if you have power over here on the ground side, nothing's going through because that light bulb used up that electricity. Now on the other hand, only at Tech Garage, I want to show you what electricity actually looks like. So follow me over here and I got two boards here. This is how your car actually functions. This is an ignition system. Over here we have a Hall effect switch, which is a DC signal up and down actual square wave. This one happens to be an AC signal. So I'm gonna fire it up for you. And when I fire it up, you can see it's actually spinning. It's a Hall effect switch. So if you look down here on the oscilloscope, you can see that square wave. If I speed it up, it's actually tighten it up and I loosen it up there, go a little bit slower. Now on the other hand, this one over here, this is an actual AC signal, alternating currents, voltage nevertheless, but you can see it's pulsing up and down here. If I speed it up, it goes tighter. Now this one's susceptible to an air gap, so if I reach down here and I open it and I close it, it has to be adjusted accordingly. Now that's how your car functions with electricity. I got these sensors at rockauto.com. Everything you see on the tables at rockauto.com. It's amazing actually what they have on their website. Tom Taylor from rockauto.com is actually joining us. Let's go over to the table and look and see how we can use their website. Well, Tom, I'm glad to see you're dressed appropriately for our Garage Ed segment. I mean, we look like doctors, we're ready to go. Yeah, but you nice. know, it never ceases to amaze me, all those electrical components and test equipment, it's all on rockauto.com. Show our viewers what we can find on rockauto.com. Well, for, for specific cars, we have, you, you look up your, your uh, make, your year, your model, and then we have the car divided up into different categories, the uh, parts you'd expect, uh, exhaust, electrical, brakes, so you can quickly find the, the category of, of parts you need. And electrical, we, we have uh, quite a few choices. We have electrical, electrical bulb and socket, electrical connector, electrical switch and relay. And then a lot of the, the uh, tools you showed over there, we have in a, a category called um, tools and universal parts, a tab at the top of the screen here. And there you can find the multimeter, the test lights. And I, I want to emphasize, uh, it, it looks really high tech over there, but a, a lot of that test equipment is you know, less than $20. Also, when you go to the actual car itself, when we look at those components, that electrical section had kind of a subcategory with a lot of electrical parts in it as well. Right, and, and, and as you mentioned, brakes, steering, sections you might not think have electrical, you'll find electrical parts in there also. 
Well, we got plenty more to come. I mean, there's a lot on Rock Auto. We're going to take electrical through this whole segment garage yet. It's really cool. We're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to look at the video email question of the week, and you probably were wondering why that Firebird's back there. Well, that's our test car for the whole season. It's going to be good. Stick around. There's plenty more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com.